If you like James Franco, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. All over close up, all over his face. The end. Ah. Bam! We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. This is the end, 2011. Your mama's pussy was the canvas, your dad's dick was the paintbrush. Boom, you're the art, huh? Thanks, James Franco, we got it. This is the end is an apocalyptic comedy film written and directed by Seth Rogen and Evan Goldberg and stars James Franco, Seth Rogen, Craig Robinson, Jay Baruchel, Jonah Hill, Danny McBride, and Emma Watson. Bringing together one hell of a star power filled with Hollywood's best known and most beloved faces, This Is The End is the brilliant idea of following World's End, but from the perspective of rich and spoiled Hollywood superstars. When James Franco throws a massive Hollywood party, shit starts to go down, and every man is for himself now. You like art? Uh, well, come on now. I... You play video games? Yes. Well, guess what, buddy? You like art? Uh, yep. You ever been to Subway? Yes. You order a sandwich? Somebody put that together for you, dude. Sandwich. That's art. Sandwich artist. Number 9. Pineapple Express, 2008. This is it, man. This is what your grandchildren are going to be smoking. Future. The future. Pineapple Express is a 2008 buddy stoner action comedy film directed by David Gordon Green and stars Seth Rogen, James Franco, Gary Cole, Rosie Perez, Danny McBride, and Amber Heard. Belonging to the always effective stoner buddy comedies, Pineapple Express follows two stoner friends, one dealer and one ordinary loser, who witness a crime and accidentally drop weed at the scene. Knowing that the weed can be tracked and led to them, they now must get everything in its right place with crime bosses and the police on their heels. You equip yourself. I'm equipping. Okay. Equip me, now, sir. Now nice. Go. Okay. You are going to light these two ends okay. while I light this end. Okay. Are you ready? Ready. Blast off. Number 8. An American Crime, 2007. Listen, I'm going to be getting a paycheck. So you'd be getting payments regular. Oh. An American Crime is a crime horror drama film directed by Tommy O'Haver and stars Ellen Page, Katherine Keener, and James Franco. Taking us on a ride to discover horrifying truths, this jaw-dropping nightmare finds two innocent girls spending a few days with a divorced mother of several children while their parents are on vacation. But as days pass by, the mother grows increasingly violent toward the new kids and begins to torture them to unleash all her frustration and anger upon them, gained through her own children. If I had the money, I'd give it to you. I saw you new borders. Don't tell me you're doing that for charity. I had to take them in because of you. I ain't paying for another man's kids. You ain't paying for your... <gasps> Number 7. The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, 2018. First time. <laughs> the Ballad of Buster Scruggs is a 2018 Western comedy drama anthology film written and directed by the Coen brothers and stars Tim Blake Nelson, Liam Neeson, James Franco, Brendan Gleeson, and Zoe Kazan. Six stories of life and wilderness in the Wild West, as well as an armed singer, a burglar, a travel director, an old miner, a train of cars, and an unreasonable combination of bounty hunters. This film escapes the money traps with a complete mixture of dark dramatization and black humor. Headshot! 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 Number 6. Milk, 2008. And if somebody does want to step out of the closet, we open the door for them. Jesus. Uh, the whole Edward state is in San Francisco, Marty. Milk is a 2008 biographical film based on the life of gay rights activist and politician Harvey Milk, the first openly gay person to be elected to office in California as a member of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors. The movie shows the early life of Harvey Milk and his penchant for politics and the small people in his neighborhood, and those of the gay community. Directed by Gus Van Sant and written by Dustin Lance Black, the film stars Sean Penn, James Franco, Josh Brolin, and Emile Hirsch. If there's anyone in this room right now 
who hasn't told their families, their friends, their employers, do it now. <clears throat> Number five, James Dean, 2001. Which is your real name, Byron or James? Uh, what do you think is better for an actor? James Dean is a biographical drama film directed by Mark Rydell and stars James Franco, Michael Moriarty, and Valentina Servi. Exploring golden age Hollywood legend James Dean, who dedicated his tumultuous but ultimately short life to his great passion of cinema. This biopic offers a refreshing look at the topic with great actors. Beginning with his early life and breakout as a sudden superstar, we again witness how his success is overshadowed by the complicated and violent relationship with his father. Well, um, I, I did a couple plays in, in high school and people said I was pretty good, but I, sir, I don't want to be just good. I want to be great. Number four. Spider-Man Trilogy, 2002. Kill Spider-Man, we'll give you all the tritium you need. On second thought, bring him to me, alive. The Spider-Man Trilogy is a superhero film series directed by Sam Raimi and stars Tobey Maguire, Kirsten Dunst, and James Franco. Made iconic by the distinctive direction of its gory and brilliant creative mind, the original Spider-Man trilogy gives us the neighborhood's friendliest spider in tales that make up some of the best superhero movies out there. Combining charm, coming of age, drama, comedy, and breathtaking visual effects to create a one-of-a-lifetime comic adaptation. Mary Jane and I, we understand each other. She doesn't know what you are. Peter, she knows me very well. And when she kissed me, it was just like she used to kiss me. That taste. Strawberries. Number three. The Disaster Artist, 2017. Grasping the lightning bolt. Great, now we're at the top of mountain. Okay. The rain pouring, wind going. The Disaster Artist is a 2017 biographical comedy film directed by James Franco and stars him with Dave Franco, Seth Rogen, Alison Brie and Josh Hutcherson. It chronicles the unlikely friendship between budding actors Tommy Wiseau and Greg Sestero, who are rejected by Hollywood. Disappointed but still hopeful, the two decide to go on an adventure to Los Angeles and produce their own movie, which results in the production of Wiseau's 2003 film The Room, widely considered one of the worst films ever made. I did not hit her. I. Okay, okay, wine. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. Number two. 127 hours, 2010. There's someone down here! Help! I'm in the canyon! 127 Hours is a 2010 biographical survival drama film directed by Danny Boyle and stars James Franco, Kate Mara, Amber Tamblin, and Clements Posey. Being alone in nature, enjoying the wilderness of caves and deserts is all fun and games, until it goes horribly wrong. When a mountain climber gets stuck between rocks, trapped in an isolated canyon in the middle of nowhere, a truly horrifying fight for survival begins. The enemy being time. But how far can a human being go for his survival? How strong are our primal instincts? Yes. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Is that our Christmas card? Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what I use. How'd you know? Gosh, it says. Happy holidays and everything. What? Get the fuck out of here. Okay. It, sa it says happy holidays? Bart, yeah. fuck you. God damn. Did you get crazy? Come on, spring break, you get crazy. Smoke some weed. Cocaine. No cocaine. Some cocaine. Shit. See some bitches all up on each other? What a fucking bitch, am I right? <laughs> no, you're not right. He's not being a bitch. He's completely right. He's motherfucking peanut butter and jealous. He's not jealous. He's putting KY jealous all over his dick. Number one. Rise of the Planet of the Apes, 2011. He hasn't 
spend any time with other chimps. Oh, we're used to that. He'll be a little skittish at first, but we'll integrate him. Rise of the Planet of the Apes is a science fiction action film directed by Rupert Wyatt and stars Andy Serkis, James Franco, Frida Pinto, and John Lithgow. Whoever thought that the Planet of the Apes franchise would ever return in full glory was absolutely right. The rocket launch for one of this decade's most epic stories sees the first apes become increasingly intelligent, growing fed up with man's naive and destructive arrogance, and take the first step to exist on their own. You're gonna stay here now. We're not going home right now. In our experience, the longer you drag out the goodbyes, the harder it is. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.